This is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with John Drury and Joan Esposito, Steve Deschler's weather, Jim Rose for Tim Weigel on sports, and the Eyewitness News team. Things are done in a big way in Chicago, so why should public displays of art be any exception? Frank Matthew reports on the newest and biggest. Down by the dockside, it's, uh, it's too far below the walkway and too far above the walkway to attach it without pulling them up. It was not exactly like hanging a picture in your living room. This thing is big, bigger than a football field, big enough to cover the entire southern face of the Sun-Times building. The total work covers 48,000 square feet. There's 28 actual canvas panels. Each panel is 120 feet long and six feet wide. Chicago artist and designer Maya Romanoff has created the world's largest hand-dyed work of art. And it's all designed to promote a convention of 2,000 weavers and fiber artists in Chicago this coming weekend for Convergence 88. It does catch your eye. It's called Bess's Sunrise, and basically what it is is a giant tie-dyed picture of sunup, early morning Chicago. What makes it all work is the wind. What makes it all work is the change in the light. That, that's exactly right, and it's, it's not trying to fight against those things. It's trying to, to go with them, to use them, to play with them. So faster than the average husband can smash his thumb with a hammer hanging a family portrait, Maya and his team hang the mammoth cloth mural. From the bright colors of sunrise to the deep purples of night, it's named after Maya Romanoff's late mother, Bess. She died uh, a little over a month ago. I don't know what she's feeling, but, uh, but it's, it, it's got to be warm. She was a very loving and wonderful person. It's only a fabric sun rising into a tie-dyed sky, but it's not make-believe. It's real, real big art. Frank Manthe, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Bessa Sunrise will be displayed on the Sun-Times building for the next three weeks. That's quite beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is, and a nice tribute.